So I read this on Instagram and just wanted to share it with those that haven't read it. And it was a letter written by somebody who remained anonymous on the voice of Corona from another perspective. And it goes like this. I am COVID-19. Many of you know me as coronavirus. Yes, it's really me. Sorry I didn't announce myself, but I wasn't told when I would arrive and in what shape and force that I would present myself to you. Why am I here? Well, let's say that I am tired of watching your degradation instead of your evolution. I was tired of watching you destroying yourself with your own hands. I was tired of how you are treating our planet. I was tired to see how you treat each other. I was tired of your abuses, of your violence. I was tired of our wars and your interpersonal conflicts and of your prejudices. I was tired of your social envy, your greed, your hypocrisy and selfishness. I was tired of the little time you dedicate to yourselves and to your families. I was tired of the very little attention you give to your kids. I was tired of the superficiality. I was tired of the importance that you often gave to superficial things and not to the essential ones. I was tired of your obsessive research for the best dress or the latest model of smartphone and the most beautiful car, just to look accomplished to others. I was tired of your betrayals. I was tired of your disinformation. I was tired of the little time you spend communicating with others. I was really tired of your constant complaining when you are doing nothing to improve your lives. I was tired to seeing you fight over silly reasons. I was tired of the constant brawls amongst those who govern you and the often poor choices made by those whom are supposed to represent you. I was tired of seeing people injuring and killing each other over a soccer game. I know it will be hard on you, maybe too much, but don't look at anyone. I am a virus. My action will cost your lives. But I want you to understand once and for all that you have to change the path for your own good. The message that I want to convey is simple. I wanted to highlight all the limits of society that you live in so that you can eliminate them. I purposely stopped everything to make you understand that from now on, the most important thing that you have to focus all of your energy on is simply one life, yours and the ones of your kids. And what's necessary to protect it, to hold it and to share it. I wanted you to look at your home as much as possible, isolated, far away from your parents, grandparents and grandchildren, so that you can understand what's really important. A hug, the human contact, the dialogue, a handshake, a night out with friends, a walk in town, a dinner at a restaurant, to run in the park in fresh air. From these gestures, Everything has to restart. You are all the same. There is no distinctions amongst you. I prove that distances don't exist. I traveled miles and miles without even noticing. I am just passing through, but the feeling of unity and collaboration I created amongst you in a short time should last you for an eternity. Live your lives as simple as possible. Walk, take deep breaths, do good for others because good deeds will come back to you with interest. 
enjoy nature, do what you like and what makes you content. Create for yourselves the conditions in which you don't have to depend on anything. When you will celebrate, I will be gone. But remember not to be a better person just in my presence. Goodbye. I just think this is so beautiful and so simple. Thank you.